Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and start off with the review. The first shade that I'm going to swatch is called Bun Bun and it's a mauve nude comfort matte color. And personally, you guys, off the bat, I love how creamy the formula is and the best part is that it does not skip is what I'm noticing because I do hate when matte lipsticks skip on my lips. This feels really moisturizing and it's super, super comfortable. And can we just talk about the color? It's the, the perfect mauve nude color. So, so far, so good, you guys. On to the next shade. This gorgeous color is called Cloud Nine and Hello Magenta. <laughs> Look at this color payoff, you guys. I would definitely rock this during the spring and summertime. Um, also, Cloud Nine is the same comfort matte formula as Bun Bun. Super soft and super comfortable to wear. Next, we have Spellbound. This is a mega matte formula. It's just a tiny bit more matte than the other two, but it's still that creamy texture, hella pigmented, and it did not skip on my lips at all, which I really appreciate. Um, and all three shades, you guys, really hydrate your lips, still keeping our lips very soft and not dry at all, which I am super in love with all three colors and formula. Going in with my Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to be using the Kaleidoscope Dream Eyeshadow Palette and I'm only going to be doing one eye because I am going to a baby shower and I don't want to go to slay-ish the baby shower. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a Daydream Palette in, in a little bit um, and I'm going to be doing both of my eyes. Um, but for this look, I'm going to start off with using Tajin, which is the orange matte color in the palette and I'm going to work this as my transition color and I'm just going to take it back and forth in my crease and really sit there and really blend out the color and let me tell you guys that this color is gorgeous like and super pigmented I was not expecting it to be super pigmented and I'm very happy and satisfied that what it looks like in the pan looks like it when you're when you apply it to your eyes and I was super impressed by this color Still using the same brush, I'm going to dip into 13th Floor, which is a black matte shade. A little story about this color, it's the name of one of Kristen's favorite Twilight Zone episodes, so I thought that was pretty awesome. And I'm going to apply this color in my crease only. And I'm just going to focus this color back and forth and really blend it really well with Tajin. And I am in shock, you guys, with this matte black color. So pigmented, and I am amazed on how creamy the formula is and how there's no fallout on my cheeks while using this black eyeshadow. That really, like, surprised me, and I can definitely see myself using this black matte color more frequently. Now for the lid, I'm going to go into my MAC 233 brush and I'm taking the color LCW, which is a really pretty metallic teal blue. And you guys, this is with no Fix Plus, no setting spray on the brush, nothing. It's straight out of the pan. Look how stunning this color is. Can you just imagine if you um, enhance it a little bit more with Fix Plus? It's going to be beautiful, but it's still beautiful on its own and I am in shock. Going in with my Morphe M507 to blend 13th floor with LCW. Um, the brush has no product, you guys. I'm just making sure that it's all seamless and blended so no harsh lines are visible. Now for the lower lash line, I'm just basically what I did on the top, I'm bringing it to the bottom. I'm using Tajin and then towards the outer corner and then I'm going to work it a little bit more towards the inner corner is the shade 13th floor. Just making it really smoky and then the next step would be to take this NYX Cosmetics Gel White Liner and I'm going to go ahead and apply it in my waterline. Um, this really helps with brightening up the eye a little bit more. Okay, and I went ahead and applied some lashes and some mascara, you guys, and that is it for the tutorial using the Kaleidoscope Dream Palette. Now, next, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and use the Daydream Palette. So here it is, you guys, the Daydream Eyeshadow Palette, which contains five new matte shades. Um, and the first shade that I'm going to go in with using my Morphe M433 brush is the color Daydream. And we're going to use this as our transition shade. So we're going to use this back and forth in our crease, just make sure that everything is blended and ready to go to apply more shades to the eye. 
Now I know I have it backwards, but <laughs> I'm going in with the shade 1212, which is a really nice soft peach matte, and that's actually Kristen's birthday. Um, and we're gonna apply it in the crease as well, just blending it back and forth. Going in with my Morphe E17 brush and dipping into Daydream again, we are going to do like a smoked out wing. So just go ahead and just pretend that you're going to do that wing and start to blend as close as you can to your lash line. And it's always good to start off with a light transition color and then build up the intensity with other colors. I went ahead and switched back to my Morphe M507 with the shade Subscribe. I'm going to build up that intensity and the reason why I switched my brush is because I want it to be um, more close to my lower lash line as possible. Um, and now a quick disclaimer you guys, this warm nude matte shade is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. So I'm not a big fan of it so far. Um, when I did apply it, I was literally thinking like, is that it? <laughs> um, but, you know, I still went ahead and continued to use the shade Subscribe because um, I did want to give it, you know, a second chance and see how it worked. But as you guys can see here, though, it's not as pigmented. I feel like it looks just like the color Daydream. Um, so I was a little confused about that. Still using the same brush, I'm going to be using the color shade 8. It's a rich, warm, brown, matte color, you guys. And I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented as well because in the pan, it definitely looks more pigmented. But the good thing about these shadows that I've noticed lately while using them is that their blendability is there. Like, it's there. They're blending out super good. And it has a very good velvety feel to them, so they're not chalky at all. I just personally wish that they were just a little bit more pigmented, um, but the blendability is there and I'm not having any issues with blending these eyeshadows out. Um, they definitely look really nice and soft and natural on the eye um, and some people might like that but this is just my personal opinion. Taking a MAC 266, I'm going to go ahead and just extend it towards my inner corner just kind of to create like a nice brown liner. Taking Daydream again and I'm going to place it on my lid. I want this center to look just basically just really nude and clean and it really did blend really well with the other shades as well so I am not mad at that. To smoke out my lower lash line you guys, I'm using the brush that's in the palette. I'm taking the color Daydream and then on top of that I'm going to go in with 1212 again. To highlight my brow bone and my inner corner I'm going in with the shade Lucy which is a nice ivory matte. And now for my waterline, I'm going in with Mr. Right Long Lasting Eye Pencil from the Bomb Cosmetics in the shade um, Say More Date Nights. I wanted to intensify my lower lash line a little bit more, so I took my MAC 266 brush and the shade 8 and used a setting spray, and I started to just smoke out my lower lash line a little bit more. I really want it to be a little bit more smoky. And this completes this look using the Daydream palette. Now by looking at it, I can see why they created the palette. It's honestly best for that consumer who loves more of a natural look. I still wish personally that it was a little bit more pigmented. I also have other palettes with a similar shadow, so I would definitely skip out of this palette if you have shades that are similar. Um, but I can see a lot of my clients that I have use this palette. One, because it does have all the neutrals on the go shades that you can definitely use on a daily basis. Um, two, it is definitely travel friendly and three, the formula performed really really well you guys and it was amazing blendability and not chalky at all. So it's definitely a personal preference at this point you guys but it's still a really pretty palette. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and review the Beauty Beam Highlight Palette and the shades are Soft Rose Gold Pearl and the one in the middle is the White Gold Pearl and then we have Warm Golden Pearl. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia um, highlighter brush and once again I'm going to go into the white gold pearl because I am so pale that it's the only color I feel like fits my, my skin tone. Um, so let's go ahead and start and whoa you guys, it is blinding, oh my god. Yep, this is definitely for my skin tone and I am so in love, you guys. The formula is a little bit thick, um, just so you guys know, um, but it glides onto my skin very, very well and it kind of gives me like that wet feel um, and that wet look. So I can't wait to actually use this on photo shoots. I am super obsessed, you guys. It, the highlight palette is definitely a go for me. 
And that completes today's video, you guys, on the Urban Decay Times Kristen collection. So grateful to have received this collection. So thank you so much, Urban Decay and Kristen. Hands down, my favorite is the Kaleidoscope palette. And also, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all very, very much. See you soon. Bye.